Welcome Thundercat fans to another Third Earth Reviews toy review and today I'll be reviewing the brand new Thundercats Ultimate Mumra the Ever Living from Super 7. So before we take a look at our figure, let's take a look at the packaging. Mumra the Ever Living comes in a black slipcover case with his symbol on the front in metallic red and his name listed below. Once the slipcover is removed, we can see our figure and all of his accessories. While on the back of the box, there's an incredible illustration of our character and a brand new character bio. This open window packaging is great for any mint and box collectors. While this ultimate Mumra the Ever Living figure is a good upgrade from his vintage LJN counterpart, he is not cartoon accurate. The additional height and articulation is a good step in the right direction, but it would have been better if he was more of a grayish teal color than the bright blue skin tone. He is the tallest of the Thundercat Ultimate figures, standing at 8.5 inches, and does have a removable bandages, which is a nice update from his original sculpted bandages on the LJN toy. His cape is a soft cloth that has wires inserted for posability. It can be attached by removing the tab in Mama's back, putting the cape in place, and pushing the tab back in. The cape can be attached to Mamra's braces in order to get his signature cape flare. Now I'm not sure if this is a common problem or not, but the bracer spikes that the cape does attach to did come loose when I was moving the cape around. They were easily put it back into place, but I'm not sure if this should happen on the figure. Overall, the paint deco is mostly clean, but I did have a few spots of missing paint, excess paint, or paint bubbles on the figure. In addition, there is a sizable gap for his ab crunch in comparison to the other Thundercat Ultimate figures. Mumra the Ever Living does have similar articulation to all of the other Thundercat Ultimate figures, meaning his head is on a ball joint so he can look up and down as well as left or right. However, due to the sculpt of the headdress, there are some limitations in the movement. His shoulders have the same ball-like joints so they can move forwards, backwards, and out to the side. There is folds at his biceps while both his elbows and his wrists can bend and rotate. He does have an ab crunch as well as a swivel at the waist. His hips have the same ball-like joints so his legs can go forwards, backwards, out to the side, and swivel. There are swivels and bends at his knees while his ankles can go up and down as well as swivel side to side at the heel. There are some limitations in the ankle movement due to the sculpt of his feet. Mumra the Ever Living does come with several different accessories. He comes with a Mahmut figure, the mighty gyroscope regulator, an extended version of the Sword of Plundar, a cloth cape, an alternate head sculpt, and alternate hands. Mahmut stands about 2 inches in height and has some basic articulation, meaning his head can look left and right while his legs can move forwards and backwards. While the sculpt is a good representation of his original cartoon counterpart, the paint deco is not cartoon accurate. He also has the same paint issues as the Mumra figure. The regulator is made up of a light and dark blue plastic, while the sword of Plundar is made up of metallic silver and gold plastic. This extended version of the sword is larger than Mumra, with its length being about 12 inches. His alternate head sculpt has a screaming expression, which does work very well for the character. Unfortunately, it does have the same paint problem as the rest of the figure, with several spots of missing paint on the back. For anyone interested in getting one of these figures for yourself, you can find Mumra the Ever Living on sites like Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. He is typically retailing about $60. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can check out all my other reviews. I will have another Thundercat Ultimate Figure review up in the near future. So, until then, this has been Third Earth Reviews.